Ladies and gentlemen, doors are closed, voice is off. My history with the American School of Paris really begins in January 1954 as a fifth grader getting off the uh, SS America in the dead of winter. Paris really in the 1950s and in my memories was really a black and white city still recovering from the devastation of the Second World War. In 1954 we graduated five people and so we've changed quite a bit. However, the mix of students, the caring, the nurturing, the values of the school have not changed. It had good values then, it has good values today, and good values are timeless. when you first move you're kind of afraid that you won't make friends and I really didn't want to move and I was freaking out like Fine. my sister when we were moving she went on a fast and locked herself in a closet which by the way lasted 10 minutes because then she got hungry and wanted a snack and we ended up doing that like I got to the American school and by the third day I had made like five really good friends you saw the blue period when Picasso painted himself and expressed his feelings with color. Yeah. Okay, so, so why did My husband is Japanese and our children were all born in Japan. And we were very happy to discover that there are children from so many countries here. What color is your personality? So that it's a very enriching also, experience to be able to, to bridge cultures. And every one of these children here is bridging those cultures. Uh, it's not just language, it's a way of thinking about things and seeing the world in a different way. We have to all look the same and smile because you love those songs. You love no, those songs. No, no, we don't. That's like, that's what I remember the most would be every other weekend in sports or in band, going away and visiting another country, another school in another country. We had a completely different language, society, personalities. I loved the fact that ASP was so international. When I arrived at Brown, in addition to my academic experience at ASP, I had a certain worldliness that perhaps other students who've attended the best schools in the United States perhaps didn't have. And in that way, it prepared me for life. There's a real connection that needs to take place, sometimes in the classroom, sometimes outside the classroom, sometimes on the sports field. And I think what I like about this school is that it is American. I mean, it, it really espouses the best qualities of American education without being too American. Make sure that if he was able to defeat the North Koreans and get rid of communism there, he also wants to continue on into China. The school espouses three major principles, respect, responsibility, and honesty. We talk to our students from a very early age all the way through 12th grade about those principles. And I think it's very, very meaningful. It's very powerful at a school like ours when you have so many different cultures. We very much encourage the open exchange of ideas. We want students to go away with a real understanding of what democracy means. Particularly for Americans coming over here, they're seeing a world that's very different. The typical scenario are two parents that are delighted to come to Paris and an adolescent child who's totally devastated, furious about leaving their, their friends in the States, angry about this whole situation. But I tell them all, because I know this now, that in a year's time or two years' time, when the situation changes and they have to go back to their other country, it's always the reverse.
for me, it's very important to have a little drama in the classroom. Are you just lucky or are you, or are you that good? You're that good. <laughs> one might think that mathematics is the same. This is the one common language around the world. And the fascinating thing is a Korean student will come up and say, but you can do it this way. And they show me a, a Korean a, approach to doing it. And Americans are much more pragmatic their mathematics. They want to know how to solve this calculus problem. And in the French, it's more about justification and proof, being able to show why this is the case. What I love is that our kids here are bright enough and brave enough to say, well, look, couldn't you do it this way? Why are you laughing? It's a test time. <laughs> it's a concern. <laughs>
I've been to India twice, once on a student trip, once to go and research the trip. We wanted them immersed in the culture as much as we could. They're seeing things that, even though these kids are so well-traveled, they've never seen before, and it was really quite moving. One day they went river rafting on the Ganges. In the end, they voted it was the best field trip in the history of the world. The fact that so many people are coming from different places, and as well, the amount of time that the average person spends at ASP is limited, forces you to create friendships quicker and create deeper relationships and friendships that are going to last longer. <laughs> I made tons of friends on Outward Bound because you're always working together. You sleep in the same room for like four nights. I loved canyoning. At first, I was really scared to jump off the rocks. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I hit my head or something? But after that first jump, oh my gosh, I just wanted to keep going. I mean, some, some of it is hard work and you're team building and you're helping each other around and it's, it's not always easy, but it is by far like the best thing I've ever done. We went in the Lake District in Northern England and we jogged around and then we jumped in the lake and it was freezing. It was really, really hot, right? And it was would, like freezing. almost get cardiac arrest. And but it was, we do it again. But it was so much fun. In third grade, we actually took a trip to Fontainebleau and learned how to ride ponies and visited Normandy in fifth grade and learned all about the cheeses that come from Normandy. We visited beautiful chateaus in the Loire Valley. France is a wonderful place to live, and so we try to take total advantage of that. Well, of course, Paris has the wonderful Seine River running through it, and one of the things that we do in third grade is to look at bridges, and they discuss the science of bridge building and also the, the beauty of bridges. They draw pictures, compare them to what the French Impressionists were doing. All you need to do is walk in the streets, and you're just bombarded with culture and history and beauty. You could spend your entire lifetime in Paris and still have a new thing to do every day. Here we go. Same piece from the beginning. I just believe sincerely that a student coming to this school gets a fabulous education, not only in the classroom, but in, in a world sense. We work hard on challenging students in every way, engaging students in whatever they do. To me, it's opening up a world, and that's what I think is so precious at a school like ours. I wish every kid in the world could attend a school like this, you know. These kids have the opportunity, because they do live in a, a, in a privileged environment here, to take what they've learned here and, and go back and talk to their native countries about possibilities, what we could be. Enjoy each other's company, share each other's work. It's possible. With all the differences that there are in this world, at a basic level, all human beings are really the same. And when you understand that, then the differences of people will become simply things that make them interesting. And I learned that here at the American School of Paris at an early age, and it's helped me throughout my life.